welcome back to my channel. It's Kay here, and today I have a special guest to ring up the new year. Spirit! Yay! I'm so happy that I'm on your channel. I always watch your videos all the time. Very hilarious. Thank you. Mostly, and you're so calm. I just love how <laughs> calm you are. You're so calm. Like, she is so calm. I love that. Thank you. I like your videos too, but Spirit is coming back to the YouTube game. Sis took a break in 2019. Yes. So I'm coming back 2019 guys get your bundles get your bundles your phones. exactly we need to watch each other we're going to, yes we have to support each other that's the yes. only way we'll grow definitely so today we're going to be answering the new year's tag questions do this every year insert a slide of that for this video i decided to do the new year's tag today we are doing the new year's tag so today we are going to do the new year's tag so we're going to be answering the questions and there's a lot of questions so we're gonna see how this goes because i didn't expect there to be this many questions so let's do it three words to describe last year oh my god three words to describe last year intense um overwhelming mm -hmm. and stressful okay yes i don't know can i can i say life-changing is one word can I, does that count life -changing? yes yes okay. it, it, it has a high pitch, so it's yeah, yeah life-changing i keep using words which have hyphens you know what life-changing eye-opening and good as well because it wasn't a terrible year i mean i made it to the next year mm -hmm. so that as well yeah yeah what was the most memorable moment for you of 2018 Ooh, the most me i think you go first well i think <laughs> most memorable moment i think had to be mr easy i love that that was so fun that was it was just it topped my ear. yeah i i, I was just saying mr easy because it was like my, my favorite concert i've ever been to mm -hmm. but mo to top everything off my most memorable moment was like having two shows on the lazy magic because <laughs> let us clap for her yes <laughs> Yeah, I had two shows on the Men's Magic. One of them is Style Gurus, where I was just profiling fashion bloggers and um, stylists, as well as another show called Z Access. So it's just a, a show where I covered big events that were happening in Osaka. So those two shows, yeah. <laughs> Damn, <I'm> okay. <laughs> what was your most played song of 2018? My most played song of 2018. Let me check my playlist. Um, I think my most played. I would say it was AKA's Fully In. Really? Yes. Okay. I love AKA so much. So Fully In just when the video came out, actually it made everything else come, come together. together. <laughs> yes. Because yeah. it's just a great. I love his AKA as an artist, and then um, the song Fully In. I think it just makes you feel like you know, like you're the champ, like and you're the one. I'm in this. <laughs> yes. I feel like mine, it must have been something by Drake or Nasty C, one of the two. I don't know what, because I was just replaying both of them on repeat the whole year, so I don't know what it was, but one of those. One of them. Did you take any trips in 2018? Tell us about the most memorable ones and why. 2018, I didn't take any trips. No. I was in the country. Yeah. What about within the country? No. I Yes, 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 yes. I went to the Mossy Day of Thunder yeah. in Livingston. That was an awesome experience. I took <laughs> you, you didn't go. No. Shame. You should have carried you in the back. <laughs> so yeah, I went for the Mossy Day of Thunder. I'd always wanted to go there, but then um, finally I got a chance to go there and it was also a chance for me to see my sisters who live in uh, Livingston. They stay in Livingston, so I was like, okay, I'm going for this concert and also see my sisters. I, I don't know, like the out we went to Botswana so I guess it was fun to travel with my mom because mm -hmm. like whenever my mom and I like two of us it's always something it's so lit. it's, it's lit. lovely like mom and daughter right yeah <laughs> so that was pretty fun what are you looking forward to this coming year um, this year honestly with everything that happened in 2018 yes I had my bad moments but like you said it was a good I mean we made it to 2019 it was a great year I told myself 2019 i'm gonna be as positive as i can be have a positive outlook on everything 
it's hard you know it's it's hard to be positive because negativity is just the easiest thing to go to it's everywhere <laughs> it's everywhere but i told myself 2019 i'm gonna be positive and i'm gonna achieve so much and get back on youtube so that is what i'm so excited about and working so much get more shows on the busy magic we're coming for you guys you heard her <laughs> so give her her deals you heard what what am i looking forward to okay i really want to graduate and with flying colors i'm going to pass my exam like six points i'm getting those six points i'm getting my marks and i'm going to do well so that's what i'm looking forward to what were you most thankful what are you most thankful for or what were you most thankful for that's what we'll rephrase the question as yeah what i'm thankful for in 2018 was god giving me First of all, God allowing me to get through 2018 and also Him allowing me to get through everything I went through in 2018 yes. mm -hmm. and I made it to 2019. I am so grateful for that. I thought I would never, like, I, I mean, for people, for a lot of people, they always think, oh, there are some things that things happen. I mean, just get over it. But I managed to get over what people say like you need to get over it i managed to get over that and i'm so thankful for that and i'm so grateful and i'm just happy for god i mean it's god all the way Amen. <laughs> what i think i'm thankful for is number one like life for the people i care about like around me because like last year i remember like my grandparents were getting sick there was this that so i thankful that they're still alive that my parents could see it through mm -hmm. that nothing has happened to people near me like I remember we lost one of my uncles but aside from that like otherwise health and he's been keeping us stable so what personal goals did you achieve in 2018 what personal goals did you achieve <laughs> yeah I know you've said yours <laughs> uh, um, I was really excited like um, they were always talking about Olympiads and like how is they're hard well they are hard yes but I, like we competed in the horizon one and i told myself i was like oh my gosh there's so many candidates just do your best and i ended up placing in the top five i wasn't first but the fact that i went that wow, far yes. made me feel full and i was proud of that wow you you went you were actually <laughs> we always knew that the olympics were the, for the smart kids so <laughs> i mean <laughs> Who was your favorite YouTube content creator last year? Last year and every other year. Superwoman. <laughs> love Lily. I love, love Lily. Lily. <laughs> Though she's been getting so much hate of late, I don't know why, but I love Lily. She is so consistent. She is funny. And to see that she, the reason why I came to find out the reason why she started YouTube was because she was going through depression. Really? Yeah, so she started to start making funny videos to make people laugh and herself laugh. <laughs> yeah, that's the <annoying>. way. <laughs> yes. So that's my favorite. My favorite, like last year, I really got into like James, Charles, Emma Chamberlain, those really? guys. Yeah. I, I saw you liked Emma Chamberlain. <laughs> yes, I loved Emma. Like, so maybe Emma. What did you do for New Year's Eve? For New Year's Eve, I went for. Um, concert it's the fireworks display organized by pompey mm -hmm. i went there with my best friend sandra and we had a great time it was fun it was great we had a good time we left at three it was fun <laughs> <laughs> i was hanging out with my friends like the whole night like, we just hang out like, hang out just hang out watch the fireworks park we're just all together and shout out dream team i love you guys in 2019 what are your goals or you yeah what other goals do you have? Oh, um, other goals that i have are to what about what i say to be happy to be very happy despite what that looks like to other people mm -hmm. i want to be happy within myself discover myself love myself more because people talk about self-love but we, we think it's just self-love but loving yourself first makes you understand how people should love you first of all so you'll be able to know oh this person doesn't love me as i'm supposed to be loved so loving loving myself being happy um being with my family more um i'm, I'm not much of a friend person like i don't have a lot of friends <laughs> so i don't mind i don't need to make more friends i don't need i'm okay with the truth that i have for me i think this year i want to i say this every year but i feel like i'm improving as years go by like i get mad so easily 
So I need to work on that. I need to not let everything get to me yeah. and not give a response because sometimes people want a response out of you mm -hmm. and I don't want to satisfy them by giving it to them. Yeah. So I want to work on that. What is your dream city or place you want to celebrate on New Year's? I've always wanted to celebrate New Year in New York. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I think it's like epic. And that's the, the place I would love to relocate to, to relocate to America or the Netherlands, these two. <laughs> the Netherlands. So I would love to celebrate New Year in New York. I always wanted to go to Valencia in Spain. Ooh. I feel like it's just pretty and I, I would love ringing in the New Year in that city. I don't care if there's no special anything. Just <laughs> being in that city. Being in the city. <laughs> for the New Year is hands down my dream. What movie are you most excited for this year? Um, I have been up movie train for, but is there is like which movies are coming out? This the, um, Disney has a lot of movies lined up. I think they're releasing The Lion King um, live action. They're not that one. The one with Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. <Nah. laughs> their um, Avengers is coming out. Avengers. 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 Really? <laughs> yes. We are ready for that. We are ready. We've been ready for Avengers. What else is coming out this year? There's a lot of movies this year that I just keep seeing the trailers. So I can't even keep up. But Avengers, I'm going to see that one in the theater. The yeah, rest, gonna I'm going to download on my laptop. But Avengers... <sighs> She's going to download on her laptop. You got that. <laughs> ooh, ooh. You see, now they can't, they can't catch me. They can't catch me. They can't arrest me. They can't catch <laughs> you. No, they can't catch you. You're way far away. I'm too far away for them to catch me. Plus, they would have no evidence because I just said it. I just so said like, it. Where, where's they, the evidence? Did I actually do it? <laughs> no. I, I think the questions are like done. Oh, here's one that mm -hmm. here's one that's like good. How are you going to motivate yourself to stick to your goals this year? Get back to this YouTube video and watch it over and over again. And remind yourself. Remind, remind myself <laughs> that I need to be consistent and stick to my word. Yeah. yeah. I think just. Also, I think I have to write these things down. It's very yes. important to have little notes, you know? Uh, not like we call them notes to self. Stick them. Tell yourself, okay, I've got this lined up, I need to do this. And when you achieve your goal, I think it's just a great thing. You feel good about yourself. Say, oh, I achieved, I achieved this. Tick. Yeah. I achieved this. Tick. But you don't have to stress yourself to say, I said I was going to do this this year. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Sometimes circumstances, circumstances happen that we can't avoid. But let's just write them down and remind myself that I have to stick to these goals. Yeah. But sometimes I feel like when you're like too into it in the beginning and you're not like spreading it out, that's when you give up by the time the year is over. Because you're just like, whatever, it's been two months of this, I'm so tired. I have to remind myself of the end goal. I think the questions are done. <laughs> done. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to check out Spirit's channel. Everything will be linked down below. And welcome to 2019. 2019. We got this. This is our year. Make this your year because this is our year. Definitely. See ya. Bye. I keep forgetting to give Satuma a shout out. So shout out Satuma. I'm really, really sorry. Bye. You sure? Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> Make sure it's still recording because I'll be so mad. Okay, it is.